Sorry for interrupting, just because we're having such a good time. I'm seeing time running out. Yes. So I want to cover as much as I possibly can, and I want to take it from that point of yours from the Finance Act. Mm -hmm. So the Finance Act has been making headlines, highlights all over the place, splashing. First time it was in the High Court, High Court capped it. The court of Appeal, you know, removed that cap. It kind of was implemented until now the Supreme Court, you know, we're taking it to the Supreme Court as of today. It's the three judge bench and I'll be telling you a little bit more about that in a second. But as of now, it has technically been passed through because they're, they're backdating. That tax we should have paid from the 1st of July, it's been backdated now. We, we really got to pay it. So any, any amount that we receive as salaried peoples has been deducted as of 1st of July. Now, there's a lot going on in that finance actor. But I will take it from where LSK, LSK, the Law Society of Kenya, has filed for a petition calling it unlawful, yes. all right? And I, will, I just want to take it from the LSK point of view before we go anywhere else, because there's so much, so, so much. So the housing levy is discriminatory contrary to Article 27 of the Constitution. So what does Article 27 of the Constitution say, if I may? read it for you. <laughs> All right, it's the equal, equality and freedom from discrimination. So part two, this is rights and fundamental freedoms. Every person is equal before the law and has the right to equal protection and equal benefit of the law. Equality includes the full and equal enjoyment of all rights and fundamental freedoms. Then it continues, to continues, continues, that is to, so all the way to six, to give full effect to the realization of the rights guaranteed by this article, the state shall take legislative and other measures, including affirmative action programs and policies designed to redress any disadvantage suffered by individuals or groups because of past discrimination. Now, the, what does the housing levy say? The levy is payable by the employer and employee at a rate of 1.5% of the employer's gross monthly sal salary by the employee and 1.5% of the employee's gross salary by the employer as outlined in the Finance Act 2023. So together it's 3%. That's why generally it's 3%, but it's 1.5 of employer, 1.5 of employee. But see now this is only touching a group of people, of salaried people and article 27 clearly says we should all be equal before the law your thoughts okay thank you <coughs> uh, we always say that uh, a legislation or an act of parliament is constitutional until it's rendered invalid mm -hmm. uh, that's why we are waiting for the hearing uh, from the three judge bench mm -hmm. uh, on the legality uh, of uh, the finance act 2023 uh, all in all, my thoughts are, I've always been consistent, that the Finance Act is not timely. Mm -hmm. uh, every person who is salaried, by the virtue that you are salaried, mm -hmm. does not mean that you are fully capacitated, or mm -hmm. rather you are fully able. Mm -hmm. And that does not mean that the government has the right to exhume or rather to extrapolate taxes mm -hmm. from everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at, uh, I always like giving an example of uh, a teacher. Mm -hmm. A teacher who maybe you have four children and uh, your salary your salary runs from between 30,000 mm -hmm. or maybe 20 to 30,000. You've taken loans, mm -hmm. you have a house help, mm -hmm. uh, you need to cater for your transport mm -hmm. and you need to pay for, the, for your children's fees. Then the government comes in and tells and you says, that mm. we are going to tax you for a housing levy. Mm -hmm. You are not interested in that house, mm -hmm. yet you are, being, you, are, you, you, you are being forced, you are being compelled mm -hmm. to, you know, to, 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 to give that 1.5% of your salary mm -hmm. as tax, as mm -hmm. a housing tax. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sometimes we, we run out of logic. And this is why we need to, to, to encourage the government, those people who are Kuna watu wanasemanga, mm. President Simbaya, mm -hmm. ni watu wana mm -hmm. Those people who are advising him, they are not listening to the people on the ground. And that's what uh, Wama Connections here mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. that these are the people on the ground. Mm -hmm. They listen to the people. It does not mean that if I'm a teacher, if I'm being salaried, then mm -hmm. I'm fully able. I'm also facing my own uh, demons, mm -hmm. financial demons. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's what uh, the government uh, should uh, try and listen to. Uh, 
we look forward to you know uh, a very fierce battle uh, uh, um, from the litigants mm -hmm. and from the judges uh, because they are very strong grounds that suppose or rather that purport mm -hmm. that the implementation of the finance be or of the finance act 2023 mm -hmm. is an infringement of constitutional rights as mm -hmm. provided under the law and you've read for us article 27 mm -hmm. this uh, provision of the law uh, talks about everyone should have equal benefits mm -hmm. from the law mm -hmm. so salaried people should be treated as equals mm -hmm. to those ones who are not salaried mm -hmm. A person who is earning uh, uh, a million shillings mm -hmm. cannot claim to be taxed the same amount from a person who is earning 30,000 shillings. Mm -hmm. So we need to invite some logic within the government structure. And employ wisdom. Yeah, and we <laughs> need to employ wisdom because uh, let me not say that the government is acting <laughs> based on lack of it, mm. but at least we need to get a clear information before we implement such kind of important decisions. Mm -hmm. But according to me, until the act is rendered unconstitutional, it will be implemented on Kenyans. It's already being implemented. It's already being implemented. So we are already feeling the pinch. Mm -hmm. And you know the voice of, uh, we always say that the voice of the people is the, is the voice of God. Mm -hmm. If the majority are feeling the pinch of this, mm -hmm. then we need to listen to them. Mm -hmm. Because they are the people who are contributing mm -hmm. towards the progress and development of this country. Mm -hmm. yep. And of, of course, our favorite body, the Kenya Revenue Authority, has been <laughs> allocated to be the collecting agent. And nowadays, they are very active on social media. Very, <laughs> very. <laughs> they even come up with memes. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> So the three judge bench comprises of Lawrence Mugambi, David Majanja, and Christine Meori, if I'm correct. And these are appointed by Chief Justice Martha Koome. So this is going to be happening from today. Maybe I'll give you a okay. few minutes to just give me your thoughts on that. Yeah. Okay. What I want to say, I want to support uh, what I'm um, Mr. Kenya have said mm -hmm. that uh, at least we have an independent judiciary and the judiciary that respects mm -hmm. the constitution of Kenya mm -hmm. and also the public interest. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope today, because they are going to s for a hearing, mm -hmm. uh, I hope the, the judiciary will speak. Mm -hmm. the, how the constitution say mm -hmm. because the judges they speak about the laws and the constitution of Kenya mm -hmm. we politicians we speak about the people mm -hmm. but the but the judges speak about the constitution mm -hmm. and, and also the rights mm -hmm. of the people mm -hmm. within the constitution mm -hmm. whether they are violated or infringed by the government of the day so this is the time that the judiciary should come out clearly to defend our motherland, mm -hmm. to defend our people. Because even civil servants, most of them, will be affected. Because some of them, they, are have, they have loans they are paying. Some of them, they have their dependents. Mm -hmm. So, and so many challenges. Mm -hmm. So when, we are, when the, that finance bill is still in force, mm -hmm. everyone will be affected. Mm -hmm. Because even em employer, and that's why uh, the other day I had uh, a president for our neighbor country, uh -huh. uh, Madam Suru, who said, uh -huh. uh, since the finance bill in Kenya started to that controversy, has made has caused the investors to learn away from this country, uh -huh. to go to to her country to invest there, and they are well welcomed. Uh -huh because of the challenge that we are having as a nation, that of a taxation, of a taxing of our people. Uh -huh. Because even the investor they cannot be able to sustain the employee to pay the taxes, yet they pay, uh, they used to pay an NHIF, also, and other expenses. Uh -huh. But uh, now, uh, as he said, the president might be it's not bad, mm -hmm. but the people around him, they are misadvising him mm -hmm. to take uh, the, la the long direction because 
as a president, mm -hmm. you have to see uh, uh, to protect your country, mm -hmm. to protect your your citizen, mm -hmm. but not to victimize them. Mm -hmm. And you should listen to them because they are the majority; they are the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. These are the people that have voted for him mm -hmm. to become the president. Mm -hmm. He should be. Uh, what he does should be for the best interest of the people of Kenya, mm -hmm. but not about uh, what those people who are uh, who are hardliners, for, for for instance, uh, for the, right now they have a talk, mm -hmm. the opposition and Kenya Kwanza, but on his side there are people who are hardliners mm -hmm. regarding the talks, mm -hmm. which we are. Which they, uh, I want to congratulate them because they have accepted to talk uh -huh. for the best interest of the country uh -huh. from both sides, the opposition, Asamio, and Kenya Kwanza. Although they have not agreed, but they are giving the conditions, uh -huh. but not hard shake, no, uh, no uh, power sharing, no nusumkate. No <laughs> but they have accepted. Uh -huh. They want to talk uh -huh. for the best interest of them because we don't want to lose uh, Kenyans through demonstration. We want the, the we want them to address the high cost of living. We want them to see this nation going to the right direction. Mm -hmm. So, if those people around him, they are going to misadvise him to overtax people in order to get money to manage the country, to run the country, mm -hmm. uh, because you cannot build the nation uh, an over, through an overnight. You mm -hmm. have to, it's a process. Rome was not built in a day. Yeah, mm -hmm. a, you have to for the procedure, mm -hmm. a process in order to make succeed. Mm -hmm. So if he consider uh, the will of the Kenyans mm -hmm. at this time, it will be in the right track. Mm -hmm. But if they're going to push and to impose people mm -hmm. uh, to pay the tax because they have the power, mm -hmm. they have everything, so they have the machinery mm -hmm. to do so, mm -hmm. I think uh, that government Everybody uh -huh. will not be, we not like th that government. Will be away from that government, uh -huh. uh, and will not be respected uh -huh. because the people will, will fight them, uh, will treat them as if they are the enemy of the people. Uh -huh. Even the members of parliament who f uh, pass, who use who pass those nini, those bills, uh -huh. finance bills. Even in the public, coming to interact with the members of the public, they will continue to experience mm -hmm. hostility from the members of the public. Mm -hmm. We're on the ground, and we know how the people, uh, the feelings and the temperature of the people mm -hmm. are not happy mm -hmm. because they are not respected, because they're the taxpayer, but they are being pushed to pay by force mm -hmm. and hand. Mm -hmm. You see, that's a problem that the Kenya Kwanza have, but if they want to change, they have a time mm -hmm. to do so. We're giving them time. <coughs> yeah, okay, now what time. we don't have is time. Yeah. So just one more, just clarify, sorry. Uh, the three judges, the three judge bench rather, that is going to handle the Finance Act at the Supreme Court. The highest court of the land is Lawrence Gambi, David Majanja, and Christine Meoli. All right, so now as we come to a close, I want to try and, and bring these two points home. So like you said, they have agreed to talk, or mm -hmm. the president in his speech yesterday, did say he's willing to talk, yes. have conversation with the opposition. But he stated three things he will not be talking about. He'll not be talking about a handshake. He will not be talking about the cost of living because apparently we start capping it at where it, it, it all begins, at the farmers, at, at the farm rather, with the farmers, yes. So that's why he explains he has cut the price of fertilizer or subsidize it in a way. I'm not quite sure if I can call it subsidies, but he has done something on the ground, the grassroots level, so that the domino effect will come to the actual cost of food. I don't know how sustainable that is, but it sounds like a, a start. You know, you can't always be saying he's not doing anything or he's not doing, or he's doing something wrong. The third thing he said he will not talk about is the opening of servers. <laughs> I'm a Chokaneo story. We mm. move on kindly. Let's start, but not stop politicking and, and start thinking about the development of the country. Now, I did want to touch on one international story, and that is Niger. Guys, Niger, uh, as of, I want to say late July, there was, there was a coup. <laughs> yeah, Africans. I don't know why we like to. Is it violence in our nature? or we, we, No? 
What's the problem? I, 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 I personally validate whatever is happening. You do you now? I do. Validate. All right, let me tell you someone else was validating. One minute, guys. I, I am winding up. So, sorry, kindly. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Mali and Burkina Faso. These are two other nations that have, uh, led by generals who also seized power forcefully, have mm. stated that any military intervention would be seen as a declaration of war. So the coup, coup, eh, the coup. The coup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> the coup was launched in late July uh, when Mohamed Banzoum, that is the current president, was seized by his presidential guard and Abdurhamane Tiani is the head of the guard named as the new leader. So now we have bodies like Akwas and um, Eh, bifukabla tuende led nukwambe ekwas ni nini? Okay, ekwas is economic community of West African states. And uh, they have actually given the Niger, the, the particular leaders who, who've taken over the country, a, a deadline to, to just stop. Not talking, just stop. Relinquish power. Now, the current chairman is Bola Tinubu, who is the current Nigerian president, but he has no military experience. Where do you see this going? in a sentence or two. Okay, let me just call it uh, the final st stages of African decolonization. Wow. And that is why I say that I am in full support of what is happening in West Africa. Mm -hmm. If you listen to what President Traore of Burkina Faso, mm -hmm. the current leader now, mm -hmm. who came in after a coup, mm -hmm. he said that there is no way Africa can be, can have a lot of wealth, yet we are the poorest. Mm -hmm. I think you can connect that uh, kind of irony. Mm -hmm. So I tend to believe that in every once in a while, there is that one person who was born mm -hmm. who will alter the trajectory of that particular sphere of area where he is uh, situated. Mm -hmm. And that is why we are having very strong leaders coming up from the West, mm -hmm. from uh, West Africa, and they are trying to reawaken that African spirit that, you know, we need to protect and defend ourselves. Mm -hmm. This is our land. Mm -hmm. We cannot be living in, uh, you know, we cannot be staying here in Africa, in mm -hmm. this particular country, like, for example, let's say Burkina Faso, mm -hmm. yet our minerals, mm -hmm. the profits that come from our minerals, mm -hmm. they are being enjoyed by other people. Mm -hmm. So we need to protect and defend mm -hmm. our country. Even, and that is what is happening. Or even worse, now we import cereals and things like that, and we're such a rich continent. Final stages of decolonization. Your yeah. thoughts in two sentences, please. Okay. <coughs> okay, what happened is, you know, uh, in West Africa, mm -hmm. I think it's a result of the challenges that Africans are having. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the cost of living, high cost of living. Mm -hmm and also mismanagement of the resources mm -hmm. that we have in Africa. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the bad leadership mm -hmm. that has caused the, like, nega military intervention mm -hmm. to overthrow the, the, the regime mm -hmm. that was there. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, we as Africans, mm -hmm. it's good to listen to the people mm -hmm. and to, uh, to face the challenges that we have, mm -hmm. we as Africans, mm -hmm. and by providing the good leadership, the leadership that is, good, is providing solutions okay. for our people. Mm -hmm. Because uh, what uh, we had, it seems that there's a problem mm -hmm. in that country. Mm -hmm. The problem that the government has failed to manage, mm -hmm. the problem that has uh, continued to excel, and yet, people are suffering, maybe people are dying, mm -hmm. but uh, like the, the way we experienced the mandamano, mm -hmm. that uh, the protesters and the police, the police are killing the demonstrators. Mm -hmm. You know, such a crisis can cause a lot of problems mm -hmm. because the nation is divided. 
All right, thank you, Aimai. I'm going to have to stop you right there. I am being told we do not have any more time, but I have really enjoyed this conversation. I really think we should have just our own show, isn't it? Yes. Like, just <laughs> can't wait. Yeah, when, when, like, just after, or um, before, I don't know, mm. we just organize. Because, yeah, I like to hear the voices of the youth and the people on the ground. Thank you once again, gentlemen, for making time for yes. us. Thank you for giving us your thoughts. You, thank you for staying on. And if you ever, ever want to contribute to the conversation, you know what to do at Wi Fi on Facebook. Y254 channel on X, Y254 underscore channel on the gram, and those other wonderful platforms. Hashtag of the day is one in the morning. My name is Valentine. Please stay tuned. We're not done with you yet.